Hello and welcome to Tarot Space. I did not think at all before making this video and this video is going to be completely abrupt video. I just came home and today was Tuesday. I did a lot of spells today. So I worked on a lot of releasing spells. I did cord cuttings. I did release negativity from marriage, then relationships, then whatnot. It was a hectic day but here I am because I am trying to be consistent on YouTube. That is the reason I'm making this video. I was actually thinking about what exactly should I be doing, uh, how, what kind of video should I make. So I just randomly thought rather than making it much difficult, let's just make it very random and very raw. So this is going to be a very raw video. And in this video, we are going to talk a lot about spirituality and we are also going to um, talk about what exactly is hidden within yourself that you actually need to explore. What exactly are the parts that you actually need to talk about within yourself and what exactly is something that you are not acknowledging or not being aware about. ऐसी क्या चीज है जो बेसिकली आप अपने अंदर दबा के रख रहे हो और आपको एक हिडन ट्रूथ के बारे में हम बात करेंगे एंड बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दिस वीडियो वीडियो की शुरुआत में ही मैं आपको ये बता दूं कि आई एम गोइंग टू गिव यू अ चैनलाइज एंजल नंबर सो इफ यू आर वाचिंग दिस वीडियो डू नॉट फॉरगेट टू गूगल द नंबर टू टू थ्री फोर आई डोंट नो वाई बट आई एम अगेन एंड अगेन सेंसिंग इट सो दिस वीडियो इज गोइंग टू बी ऑल अबाउट दिस message of this uh, number to know the message of this number you can just go to google and write the, write down angel number 2 2234 and you will get the message uh, definitely and i definitely feel that it resonates with you i'm not going to show you what kind of deck that i'm using it is very very secret because i'm using a deck that denotes that is used for some other thing but i'm going to use it for doing some other thing so it is completely my way but here we are doing pile readings we are going to do two piles uh, so pile number 1 is basically in 11 pile number 2 is basically 22 these are the numbers that i have channelized so if you are really interested to watch this video because this video is going to be long enough there are going to be cuts in this video because i always record video in bits and pieces so this is the first part of it and uh, so in this session in this video Uh, in this part you can definitely uh, choose your number so you have number 11 number 22 you can take your time uh, till then i'm just going to channelize the energies of number 11 and number 22 when i talk about number 11 i definitely feel these two numbers are very very poles apart to each other is what i'm sensing here but they are very powerful as well so people who are watching this live i'm so used to saying that people who are watching me live right now so people who are watching this video let me be very honest that you guys are very powerful you guys are very intuitive and you guys are very very psychic like you know what is going to happen you can read people very easily you are very sensitive and you are very sensitive and you are very empathetic as well you need to take care of your energies and you need to understand that you need to release and cleanse more often because you take up a lot of energies from others and you are very prone to evil eyes so this is what is the general psychic reading that i'm getting which is common for number 11 and number 22 because whoever is going to watch this video i'm so sure that you are going to relate to it i am very sure because i am always sure about my readings so yes uh, if you are new to my channel do not forget to like share comment and subscribe because i read all the comments and i also interact a lot with uh, people and there are chances that uh, i you know i usually select 10 comments and i give them free services as well so you i know you don't want to miss that definitely so yes you can select any one uh, number it's number 11 and number 22 you can take your time before selecting take a deep breath in and release so this is part 1 i'm going to uh, start shooting part 2 so i'm going to cut and re-record it so this is part 2 of the video and yes now in here i am going to start shuffling my cards and i'm going to psychically first channelize the energy of pile number 11 and we are going to talk about pile number 11 first and then we are going to talk about pile number 22 there are going to be parts wherein people might also feel that 11 is also resonating with them but let me be very honest people who have selected number 22 there will be parts of some things that will be resonating to you also this is a completely general reading but i am a psychic i will definitely channelize your energies as well 
but then i would suggest you to basically um, only take the parts that resonate with you let just understand when i psychically channelize your energy people who have selected number 11 you are very intuitive you have the ability to be a healer you are very good in advising people and i don't know why but you have selected the master number and i definitely sense you that um, you are extremely emotional uh you are, you have that leadership quality but when you become a leader you are very controlling so you need to also work on your controlling issues because you might also have those issues which is something that i'm sensing here but yes when i uh i also feel that there can be a lot of issues related to stomach in this whole while uh, recently you might feel that let's see what exactly are the are some of the hidden truths and what exactly are something that you actually need to put light on you need to understand for a fact that wherever you are right now you are at a very very safe place you need to put awareness at the part of your life wherein you need to understand that every time you were in a very toxic relationship or you were in a very toxic situation it was always very hard for you to let go but you had actually done that before and you can do it right now as well but i am not telling you here to let go of a person that you are dealing with but i am definitely telling you to let go of certain things that no longer serves you for example certain emotions certain behavior and certain patterns that you have been following in your life again and again so rather than escaping the situation and leaving the person who is triggering you related to things that you can't let go you need to rather let go things that you feel that you are not able to let go I hope you understand this. This is this is a bit confusing, but you have always let go. You have always escaped the situation. I feel like you always thought that you would won't be able to let go. You can't leave this person. You are completely obsessed with this person. You are completely obsessed with this situation. For example, it is not only in terms of relationship, but I definitely feel this is also in terms of your work. Like you are a very toxic person when it comes to. creating a bond or creating a relationship any kind it can be a work relationship it can be a uh, proper partner relationship a uh, marriage relationship partnership you are very toxic because i feel like once you achieve something you get very bored of it and you start taking the other thing very grantedly and this happens very unconsciously you are not aware about doing this to you but yes this actually is happening and you need to create awareness of it and you need to let go of your this behavior you need to start valuing things that you have in your life and you need to understand for a fact that if things are happening to you it is happening to you as a blessing and you need to continue taking it as a blessing and not take it for granted and i feel that rather than escaping the situation and rather than just completely ending the situation that you are not able to work on for example is a relationship is not working you will always try ways to escape the situation and try ways to not confront and not communicate because you hate communication and you hate confronting your partner related to things that that proves that you are mistaken and proves that you are wrong so you will not try to communicate or you will not try to talk about that situation it is similar to the work in terms of partnership if you are doing any partnership in kind of a business you will also escape confronting you will always escape communicating with the other partner because you will be scared that something wrong might happen if you are insulted because you have a lot of ego issues let me be very clear you have a lot of ego issues you are basically egoistic because you are number 1 one that talks about number 1 two time that means that you have that controlling issue and you have that leadership quality but if someone is insulting you you never should see the face of that person again is something that i'm sensing here so you cannot let anyone lead you you want to be the leader and if someone else is controlling you it becomes very toxic for you let me just continue this okay so continuing this video uh i feel like you are not aware about how hard it is for you to letting go and i feel somewhere down the line it is your sole purpose to learn how to let go of people how to let go of particular situations how to let go of particular behavior how to let go of particular toxic traits how to let go of particular toxic patterns so the issue with number 11 the hidden truth about number 11 is that you feel that letting go is very difficult for you but it is actually not that difficult for you if you start letting go of things which are supposed to be let go like 
which are not serving you right which are toxic for you then it might be really great for you when we check some other cards i feel it is very important for you to take the blame on yourself because because when you feel that it is your mistake you start manipulating the situation and here the hidden truth about you is that you always try to blame the other person you get very defensive and you need to let go of this behavior as well so i'm going to this is this is a very very cut throat kind of a tarot reading that i'm doing like i'm not going to make up to you or i'm not going to tell you what is good in you but i'm actually going to dive deeper and i'm going to tell you what exactly is something that you need to let go because 11 the spirit guides are again and again communicating to me again and again i can hear that this video is all about for you this the 11 pile is all about letting go it's like what exactly you need to let go so you need to stop blaming others and uh, even if it is your fault accept your fault and understand that you can make mistake and if you are making mistake again and again understand for the fact that you are in a learning phase and if you do not accept your mistake you are not going to basically heal yourself and you are not going to basically learn so it is very important to not blame the other person when it is your fault accept the blame on you take the blame on you i'm i'm listening this song i guess there's a song you can blame on me something like that but yeah you can take the take the blame on you is something the spirit guides are telling me the next card that i'm sensing here is that you are an overthinker you think way too much you can't control your mind you need to have a control over your mind because a particular situation is not that big enough to stay in your mind and you keep it in your mind and you give a house to that thought and which becomes a toxic and i definitely want to tell you that you need to learn the art of letting go learn the art of letting go in terms of your behavior learn the art of letting go in terms of your patterns learn the art of letting go in terms of things that no longer serves you past traumas things that you do not need to uh, know about i i don't know but i'm also sensing your people have chosen number 11 you still stalk your ex i don't know why but you still do it spirit guides are telling me that you still do it that is how you are not able to let go of things like you still it's it's been a long time but you still stalk them you don't like them you have no feelings about them but you still want to know what exactly exactly is happening that is how you hold on to situations so that is how strongly and how toxically you hold on to situations so you need to learn the art of letting go stop blaming others when it is your mistake and you need to also let go of the thoughts that are not supposed to stay with you yourself so this was all about number 11 i feel that i gave you a very good insight and i am going to not stretch this video much let's move ahead to number 22 when i sense about number 22's energy then i definitely feel here that they are extra emotional they are more sensitive than we talk about number 11 but here they are very very intelligent they are very social and they will always whoever has chosen number 22 trust me if you do something online you are going to excel i definitely sense that you will be very dominating you have the you have a dominating behavior you definitely have a very dominating behavior and you love controlling situations and you love controlling things but when we talk about number 22 it's all about your thoughts you live your life through your mind not through your heart so you need to learn doing that i feel all the while you, the whole purpose of your life is going to feel your body and internally heal yourself because externally you might show that you're very strong but internally you are broken is what i'm sensing and what the spirit guides are also trying to tell me spirit guides are also trying to tell me that you are very knowledgeable you are very strong headed you are very good in creating content you are very good in earning money socially you are very good in um, editing or doing any kind of social media work is something that would be really great for you you can do wonderful in computers i don't know why but if someone is trying to choose something in their career so that is why this is coming out of my mouth uh, so this video i'm telling you it is going to be very random whatever you need to listen you are going to listen to it it is like that the spirit guides are connecting to you through me and you will realize that maybe this video was something that i was supposed to be landed land on that i supposed to land on yes 
फॉर पीपल आर चूज इन नंबर ट्वेंटी टू लेट मी बी वेरी ऑनेस्ट मनी इज गोइंग टू फ्लो टू यू यू विल हैव मनी बट मनी इज गोइंग टू फ्लो ऑलवेज इट्स लाइक मनी इज गोइंग टू फ्लो इन एंड थ्रू आउट देर इज गोइंग टू बी दिस रेगुलर रूटीन हैपनिंग विद यू लेट सी वॉट इज द हेड इन ट्रूथ वॉट एक्जैक्टली द यूनिवर्स एंड द स्पिरिट गाइड वॉन्ट्स मी टू कम्युनिकेट टू यू एंड वॉट एक्जैक्टली दिस रीडिंग इज गोइंग टू बी ऑल अबाउट you distract yourself when you are in pain and you do not confront your pain it's like you are in pain but you do not want to know that you are in pain and that is how you dis- you keep distracting yourself you are too much busy in your work because you do not want to do not want to accept that i am in pain and this is a hidden truth that you are very in, you are very much in pain let me be very honest when i tell you this i definitely sense here that you have dealt with life very vigorously and i feel that life has been very bad towards you in terms of relationship in terms of love in terms of care whatever you were supposed to be getting you did not get that because you chose to distract yourself at a very early age so most of you whoever, whoever is watching this live session live session whoever is watching this video and has chosen number 22 let me be very honest you started earning very early not very early i feel that you started doing things very early you started uh, using your mind you started using your uh, brain you started using your skills very early and you always wanted to earn a lot so that is that was a more of distraction to you so that you do not feel that pain in, in within yourself so that you do not Uh, confront your pain it was something like that i definitely sense this very strongly so i i feel that you have always distracted yourself and because you wanted to distract your pain you always went to went on attracting painful partners this is something that is standardized and the spirit guides are telling me that the reason behind your toxic relationship is because you are not addressing your pain and the spirit guides are telling me that if you do not address your pain then i am going to send you painful and toxic people who are going to give you more pain again and again until you actually put some awareness on your pain very 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 uh, high energy download this was it actually shook me my my stomach is actually shivering because this download was very very heavy so yes that is the reason you are dealing with pain and you will deal with pain if you are not in relationship you will have health issues your body will ache a lot uh, there will be health issues you 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 will have pain in your body and you will keep attracting a lot of uh, diseases now and then let me just continue this video yes continuing this video so you are distracting yourself from pain and if you do not heal yourself and if you do not bring in awareness and understand for a fact what exactly is paining in your body uh i'm not talking about physically but emotionally what exactly is paining why are you in pain what has actually made you feel this pain and why did you distract yourself from this pain what do you feel when you actually put awareness to this pain you have to question yourself and you have to get some answers about it i feel that if you are in relationship number 22 let me be very honest you know that the other person is not something you want in your life and you will keep attracting those people who are toxic in your life because you are in pain you will attract the people who will only create pain in your life again and again and this is happening because you are wanting it you are seeking pain in your life and until and unless you make peace with your pain and start living your life happily and you choose that i don't want to be painful anymore i don't want to be depressed anymore i don't want to be suffering anymore it's because you have desensitized your pain you are used to being this way you are going to attract these people back again and you are going to you you are going to give pain and you are going to get pain it's going to be a cycle that is going to keep repeating so you both can't be happy at all and if you are not in relationship this is going to again and again happen in friendships also because if you are not in relationship you will definitely have friends and you will be outgoing a lot and you will be unhappy in your friendships as well because they are going to give you pain and you will always have unhealed friends you will have friends that will have those will have a lot of drama again and again they will come crying towards you but they, but when you are in pain no one is actually going to be there for you because universe wants to give you pain 
more and more and why is it happening because you're not addressing it because you're distracting yourself and your best way of distracting yourself from pain is basically i feel, i don't know why but i'm sensing that people who have chosen number 22 are alcoholics they drink alcohol they smoke they smoke up they party they uh, go out for uh, you know uh, for a trip or something like that and they work excessively so these are some traits that you might be doing a lot and if you're doing this let me be very honest you're distracting yourself and you are just leading a life which is in your own thoughts that is not the reality i've got two cards suddenly so i feel the pain inside you is telling you that you need to let me go because we are not meant to be together and if you are not letting the pain go then you will be lost for a lot of period of time you will not feel yourself you will feel that you are not good for anything you will feel very worthless and this is because you are in pain and if you are not addressing it you will feel worthless again and again because that those are the feelings that are going to give you a pain in return back again so you are multiplying the pain and you are actually losing your self worth and you will not feel good about anything and you will have financial troubles because you have a financially fulfilled hand is something that i'm getting here you are supposed to earn so much you have so much of talent you have so much of skill but you are not able to earn or you are not able to attract anything because you are lost and you will be you will return back very soon once you actually address all of these issues and once you realize for a fact that you know uh realize for the fact that you are in pain and i don't know why but people are choosing number 22 you might have felt cheated someone might have cheated you and you have that trauma within yourself there is some trauma that you are not addressing you'll always have insecurities related to yourself there are insecurities related to yourself there are insecurities related to how you look how you behave how you, how you communicate so you are feeling worthless you will keep feeling worthless so when we talk about what exactly the pile number 22 is trying to convey to us so i feel this video is all about letting go for pile number 11 there are certain things that you need to let go but for for pile number 22 there is only one thing that you need to let go that you are holding on to yourself very tight and attracting and getting in getting yes uh, for number 22 you are getting in cycle and that is pain so you need to cut cords with pain and you need to keep saying yourself that i am happy and i cut all my cords through suffering and i cut all my cords through pain keep saying that to yourself and also whenever you feel pain whenever you feel depressed ask yourself what exactly is uh happening to me why am i feeling like this is it something that i deserve and if you do not feel happy about a particular situation take a stand for yourself it's very important i hope this video resonated with you let me know in the comment section if it did and yes this was a very abrupt video but i never expected i would get a very very strong channelized messages i think i should do this more often let me know in the comment section if i should thank you